Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 3rd, 2023 Angel Day reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy that we need to be mindful of on this angel day. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, the ten of wands. We can be carrying a lot, Leo, and this is going to be a time where we can also just feel like this day is a lot. This is a really intense day. It's a really beautiful day. You know, the number 33 is a symbol of intense romantic energy, love energy. It is a time where we can find our soulmate if we're looking for it, for our soulmate or connect even more deeply with the soulmate that we're with. We're guided by our angels. We're guided through hope and support, and there's this real sense of endless possibilities moving us forward physically, emotionally, spiritually, that we're heading towards the next level, that a door is opening. But we can feel on this day, as all these good things are opening up to us, we can feel like, wow, I'm being held back. Wow, there's just so much I have to do before I get to enjoy. I get to, I get to laugh. I get to smile. And here with the Ten of Wands, it's like, be very aware of this. Be very aware that we can be like, okay, well, I'll enjoy myself once I finish yet another task, once I have everything perfectly in order. And what Spirit is telling us, nobody matters, not, not nobody matters. It doesn't matter and nobody minds if it's not perfect. We hold ourselves to such a rigid standard. It's like, let it be messy, let it be chaotic, let it be different than you originally imagined. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it is going to be beautiful. So let's see our guidance from Spirit. Angels and Spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. And this is peace reversed. Yeah, so that's exactly it. We don't feel at peace. We don't feel harmonized. We can easily feel just in a discord, like a violin, just screeching across the cards, the cards, the chords. So be aware of this. It can just feel very overwhelming. And centering ourselves back, stepping back and saying, let me breathe, you know, let me let me connect with me again instead of all this outside chaos because Leo, we can be so taken in by the outside chaos and the outside world just feels so much more real than our inside one. So be aware of that. Let's see what spirit has to say. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. Mm -hmm. And show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. You see all that. Okay. We can easily, and this is just, just a warning to us once again, we can easily get involved in trauma drama that has nothing to do with us. We can be the peacekeeper wanting to come in. We can be, you know, the person with the really great ideas, but for some reason, there's something that starts out super calm, super innocent, and it's going to build. We're going, our energy around it is going to build, or the intensity around it is going to build. And it was a joke. It started off as a joke, or it started off as a game. And then all of a sudden, 
you know, people are fighting, people are yelling at each other, feelings are hurt. So just, just be aware of that, that things can have a tendency on this day, which is a beautiful, beautiful day, but we can get pulled into other people's drama. We just don't need to. The six of swords here in the upright position is us moving forward. We're going after what we want, what we need, where we need to be for us, not where everybody else needs us to be. We have a lot more knowledge than we thought we would have. We have a lot more wisdom. We carry that with us. We don't always see it. And that's going to be something we need to recognize. We don't always see the wisdom that we carry, but it's right here with us. The two of pentacles reversed. You're not going to be very good at juggling things on this day. It's not going to be a day where it's like, okay, the more tasks, the better. You're going to feel like the more I'm doing, the the more worthy I am of getting a break or, you know, being kind to myself. And spirit is really saying here, no, it's time to stop juggling everything. It's time to stop putting all that pressure on yourself and to really start moving forward in an energy of balance and in an energy of calm. You're also not a circus performer on this day. I mean, you could very well be a circus performer, but your who you are isn't on display for everybody else. So just be aware of that. Be aware of that. If you start to feel like, wow, it's like I have to perform, I have to perform, and it's not your job to perform, that's going to be the time where we need to step back and we need to step into what we need and what we want because we're moving forward. We're following, you know, I, I read this book and it's by Jane Johnson and it's called The White, um, the White Hair. And I love this book. I've recently read it. And here she's following that white rabbit, right? Very much like Alice in Wonderland. But in The White Hair, it is a symbol of female divinity. It is a symbol of prosperity and abundance. And here it's like, are we starting to follow that path of prosperity and abundance? Are we starting to follow a path that was lost long ago or that we didn't know was so important to us in our world now and, and discover something new? Every single hero's journey starts first with people laughing, people, people mocking, you know, people not understanding. It's not till you're successful that people will be like, oh, I always believed in you. It's like, no, you didn't. No, that you're following a path that's right for you, that's filling a void that you need, that's connecting with you in a profound way, and that's sacred. It moves you to the Knight of Cups. Water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You might find that in these water sign energies, and we're in Pisces now, that this is a time of celebration. This is a time of moving the heart forward, being much more open to emotionally what we need, what we want, what we're looking towards and for. Now, we might over also find that our heart is leading us on a journey. We have to listen to it because when we don't listen to the heart, we start to fall out of balance with the self. It's not, I'm going to make this person like me because my ego is hurt. It's, I'm going to follow a path of love and caring and compassion and for myself, you know, and I'm not going to worry about everybody else's nonsense. And it leads us to the seven of swords. And the seven of swords is this real sense of, I understand the lies that I've told myself that others have told me, I understand that not everything is true. And there's a sense here of coming to peace with that, even though we might not be okay with the lies. You know, it doesn't mean that we give people a pass, but it does mean this doesn't get to destroy me. And remember on this day, doors are opening. Possibilities that we thought, oh no, that could never happen. On this angel day, they're happening. And our angels are giving us a gift of joy of unbridled joy, of optimism, of enthusiasm, and we're starting to see what we're worth and what we want. So let's dive deeper, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Ah, it all falls down. Okay. okay, so it's so interesting here, and what really comes out to me is that the the line is reversed, right? The strength is reversed. We are represented by the strength card in the major arcana. Leo, we're represented by the sun also. So we might find the day to be a little tricky. We might find, you know, the spotlights that are put on things to be a little tricky, a little overwhelming. It's like, okay, well, how do I traverse this? And what do I do with that? And we might find it scary to say, okay, I need to connect with my heart. Okay, I need to follow my heart. I need to see what I love and not be taken over by love. It will be very easy for us to fall into kind of 
an overly romantic version of things and not the truth that stands before us. Okay, so be aware of that. We then have the, gosh, what is this? Temperance, okay. We have Temperance Reverse, drew a complete blank, on the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is that chaos, right? We're not feeling imbalanced. We can also feel like this chaos is coming again and things aren't, and people aren't seeing the truth. The truth isn't coming forward. So just be aware of that. And that can spiral us into chaos instead of saying, I need to see this. And it's just for me right now that I need to see this. It moves us to the nine of pentacles. With the six of, of swords, we are moving forward. We're understanding our emotions. We're embracing where we need to be and how we need to be. And the six of, and the nine of pentacles, okay, is a sense of we're not really celebrating where we are right now. It's like, okay, the next thing, the next thing. Slow it down and step within you. Where you are right now, it matters. Don't tell your secrets to everybody on this day either. It's kind of like, keep what you really want really close to your heart. With the ace of pentacles reverse and the two of pentacles, this is a time to plant seeds. This isn't a time to say, oh, look how the garden's growing. You know, it's kind of like an oak tree. An oak tree has all the complicated roots growing first, and then it grows. And then you start to see growth. So here, it's like plant the seed, look at things, understand it. Also, be very mindful. The more you try to juggle, the less productive and the less prosperous you will be. And, and I know that sounds like a harsh thing to say, but there's a sense of a fracturing of energy. Instead of saying, at this time, I sacredly, you know, connect here. And at this time, I sacredly connect here. It's like just a jumble. And that can be very overwhelming. So be aware of that. With the Three of Cups and the Fool, it's time to celebrate moving forward. It's time to celebrate with people you love, you connect with, who are joyous in your life. It's time to celebrate. And you are opening up doors in ways that you hadn't imagined because you're connecting with like-minded people. You're connecting with people who raise their glass to you and they mean it. They mean it, you know, and that's going to be really important. It's like, oh, this person might not be in my life forever, but right now they are fully present with me and I am fully present with them. It then brings us again to the strength card, reverse with the king of cup, with the knight of cups. There is a sense of moving forward. There is a sense of, okay, moving towards the heart. We're not going to be 100% okay with that, you know? There is also going to be a sense that on this day, we can kind of get mad at things. We're feeling things too much. It's a little bit too intense. So we're going to say to ourselves, you know, you just have to, you just have to, you know, keep on pushing. You just have to keep on going. And that can be too much. Here, it's like strength isn't keep on pushing, keep on hustling, keep on, you know, achieving more and more and more. It is strength is calm, it is centered within you, and it is powerful. And it is something that people would look and say, oh no, you're not the big bodybuilder. That big bodybuilder is way stronger than you, right? But you could be completely flexible, completely, you know, powerful in a way that the rigidity of the bodybuilder isn't. So just be aware of that. And that's not, you know, harping on bodybuilders. It's just the imagery that's coming forward. With the Eight of Cups, you're not ready to walk away yet. There is some sort of lie, some sort of hurt that has happened. You're not ready to walk away from it. it. And it's important here not to live in it. So just be very aware of that. There is something here where it's like, you need to see it. You need to see what you love. Or somebody lied about something that you really loved. And now you're like, oh, I don't have to walk away from this. Or I don't have to give this up. Or, you know, there was there's some sense here that you think something is much more finite than it actually is much more like oh okay it's it, it's done or oh okay this is absolutely ruined and it's like no it's not it might be a little burnt you have to cut off the edges and you know kind of maybe you know do some fa fancy icing but the cake isn't ruined and spirit really wants you to know that our bonus cards here are the ten of pentacles reversed and the knight and the page of swords the page of swords is this is a time of words and connection the ten of pentacles reversed Okay, it's a time of really letting go of generational curses, of a lot of negative patterns that have been following you. 
also the sense of, I don't get to have wealth and prosperity in my life. I don't get to celebrate a job well done. And that's going to be something that we really start to let go of. It's like, okay, what energy am I feeding into me? And I know that might sound a bit hokey, but it's really not. It's like, what are the words I'm feeding myself with? Like, what food am I eating? How am I feeding myself? And why am I feeling good? Or why am I feeling bad? If we only have a book of hateful words and we open it up, and we think, wow, reading this is, is awful, but we're only writing hateful words for ourselves, be aware of that. Be aware. And that's going to be a really empowering thing. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the magician reversed. Okay? We can find it hard to stand before the altar of our existence, and we can find it hard to claim our gifts at this time. And we can feel like we're doing a really good job, and then something happens and we're not doing everything perfectly. And we're like, see, it's all, it's all ruined. It's not all ruined. We're going to be like that statement, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. We're going to be very quick to say something is just completely ruined and it's not. It's just different. And also know that people's wisdom, it's coming from their experiences, their lives, you know, their connection with divinity and the universe. It doesn't have to resonate with you. And if it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean it's wrong. Somebody here... You're listening to somebody, a friend or somebody you really admire, and it's just not resonating. It doesn't mean they're wrong and it doesn't mean you're wrong. It just can mean that it's time to move forward. Our subconscious energy from spirit is gratitude. Embracing a sense of gratitude, a sense of peace, a sense of connection with what we love and who we are and where we need to be is so important. A real sense of these are my blessings. And sometimes we can find our blessings very hard to see, and sometimes they're very easy. So be kind to yourself. Our subconscious tarot message. The Queen of Swords reversed, and the, and the Hierophant. Hierophant is also Taurus energy. There can be a lie that comes forward. It can be from a Taurus, but it can also be this energy of hurtful words have been spoken. Now it is time for me to be empowered. I felt out of my power because of these hurtful, hateful words or this manipulative way of people speaking and people being here with the, with the Hierophant. It's like, I'm stepping into my power and I'm seeing where I belong. We can also think, oh, this is the way to success. This is the way to bounty. This is where I'm supposed to be. And we forgot. We forgot where we need to be for us. What is right for our soul isn't necessarily going to be right for somebody else's. Well, that's interesting. I put that. Okay. So let's, yeah. Oh, goodness. I didn't, I didn't. That's it. That's what I did wrong. Okay. So it is the Queen of Swords reversed. Oh, that's so funny. So here you have the Hierophant. There is some sort of institution you belong to. There's a reason why I picked it just off the top of the deck and not turned it around. And here, the Queen of Swords is reversed. This is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody has been hurtful or hateful in their speech, in the way that they communicate. They can't give a compliment without giving an insult at the same time. There is something here that is cutting away at us. And it's time to stand in our power. This, our power doesn't match their power. Be aware of that. And there's going to be a need for us to say, okay, I see where I need to be. And I need to move forward in that energy. All right. And we can also find air, air time periods, uh, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, to be a little bit difficult to bring up things that we don't want to look at or to have people say things in a way that, you know, isn't cool. So just be aware of that. All right. All right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo. May you have a blessed angel day. And may God bless you.